When you apply Unsharp Mask in After Effects, the default radius value is one pixel. However, some experienced Photoshop users recommend that you never set this value higher than half of a pixel. The reason is, radius is essentially a blur for the unsharped version, and the larger the radius, the more you're dragging in information from pixels that are further away. This can possibly result in some additional haloing or fringing effects. So these experienced Photoshop users say, if you need the effect of a higher radius, instead, duplicate unsharp mask, keeping both radius values at half pixel or under. Let's compare that to using a larger radius value. I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot of the current image. I'm gonna turn off my second unsharp mask for a moment, go back to my normal unsharp mask and return it to a one pixel radius. And I found that you need to increase the amount to roughly 75 to get the same apparent sharpening as two unsharp masks set at 50 and half of a pixel. Okay, let's zoom in on our image. I'm gonna go really close here to around the hammer, the sleeve and the guy's hands. This is the effect of using one unsharp mask with one pixel of radius. If I click on Recall Snapshot, you'll see the effect of two unsharp masks, amount 50, half of a pixel. So this is one effect, two effects. I'll zoom in even more. And again, two effects, one effect. Two effects, one effect. You'll notice that two effects have less of a halo around this edge. There's less spread of the color around this transition. However, the other pixels are indeed being sharpened more. When I return to one application of Unsharp Mask, you'll see the bright halo and dark halo has indeed extended a little bit further around this edge, but we're not getting as much sharpening down in the dark parts of this guy's sleeve. Again, two applications at a small value, one application at a slightly larger value. This is a trick you can keep in mind for very critical images, but frankly, I'm not sure how obvious it's going to be on moving video. I'll go back down to 100% and center up my image. Here's another power user trick. Whenever you apply unsharp masks to a color image, not only are you blurring the luminance information, these light and dark edge transitions, you're also going to be blurring the color information. And when you do that, there's a chance of increasing the color halo around this edge and also getting some color shifts. Let me show you by really cranking up unsharp mask on this image. So I really go high in these values. You'll see that the color in his face in particular is really shifting before and after. And you'll notice we've got this green halo around this yellow colored staff that he's holding. The preferred approach would be if we could use unsharp mask just on the luminance, but keep the color information that was in the original image. And to do that, we use a little known effect known as channel CC composite. And there's a separate movie in this series on CC composite. CC Composite allows me to take the unaffected original version of this image and composite it on top of my affected version of this image. So I'll apply CC Composite. I'll set it Composite Mode to Color. Use the color of the original image, but keep the luminosity of my affected image. I'll select Color. And now we'll notice quite a difference in our image. The skin tones are much more natural, and you'll notice around his staff, we no longer have a color-shifted halo. This is before and after. You can see where the color shift has been removed. We're just getting the luminance effect of highly sharpening this image. So this is an animation preset you might want to store. Unsharp Mask plus CC Composite set to color. You can still use Unsharp Mask as you did before, but you'll get nicer results without shifting the color in the image.